Kid News fans, tired of advertisements? We get it, but we also have to keep the lights on. There's a way around them, though. Parents can join StarGlow Plus on Apple Podcasts or at StarGlowMedia.com slash subscribe to ditch the commercials and unlock access to future bonus episodes and other exclusive content from the StarGlow Media Network. That's StarGlow Plus on Apple Podcasts or at StarGlowMedia.com slash subscribe. Now, on to the news. Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Thursday, April 11th, 2024. And we begin with a national food fight over what can be served in the lunchroom. Consumer Reports says Lunchables should not be allowed on school menus and is asking the U.S. Department of Agriculture to remove them. According to CNN, the cafeteria versions of the popular kids' lunch kits contain too much sodium, even more than the Lunchables snack kits sold in stores. Levels range from 460 to 740 milligrams per serving, or nearly a quarter to half of a child's daily recommended limit. Consumer Reports said it also found traces of lead, cadmium, and some additives used to extend shelf life that may be safe at some levels but not especially healthy. Kraft Heinz, the company that makes Lunchables, says it stands by the quality of its food and has taken steps to improve Lunchables' nutrition profile. The coach with the most wins in college basketball history has announced she's retiring. Stanford women's coach Tara Vanderveer spent 45 years mentoring college hoopsters and this season surpassed Duke men's coach and Hall of Famer Mike Krzyzewski in wins, finishing with 1,216 career victories, according to ESPN. The 70-year-old led Stanford to three national championships and was named National Coach of the Year five times. She also coached Ohio State, Idaho, and the United States national team. In a statement Tuesday, Vanderveer called basketball the greatest group project there is and says she's thankful to all who supported her and her teams. Knocked down but not knocked out, that's the status of an enormous sycamore tree that stood more than 100 years in England's Northumberland National Park. Last fall, vandals chopped down the so-called sycamore gap tree, causing many to mourn its demise. Scientists, however, sprang into action. According to the Washington Post, they salvaged seeds and cuttings from the famous felled tree and took them to a secret conservation center where experts care for some of England's rarest and most historically notable plants. Now, six months later, those seedlings and cuttings are sprouting. A spokesman for the center says we'll be keeping everything crossed that these plants continue to grow stronger and can be planted out and enjoyed by many in the future. Fun fact, the sycamore gap tree was well known for its role in the 1991 film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. The price tag of the New York City Marathon may go up, but not for the reasons you'd think. The city's Metropolitan Transportation Authority wants runners to make up the roughly $750,000 they lose from the tolls they don't collect during the race when the Verrazano Narrows Bridge is closed to traffic. Tens of thousands of runners fill the upper and lower tiers of the bridge at the very start of the race, creating what the New York Times calls an arresting sight that conveys the immensity of the event. The MTA is threatening to restrict runners to the lower, darker deck if organizers don't pay up, but the New York Roadrunners say that would force them to reduce the number of participants or lengthen the race, which could lead to some runners finishing in the dark. At this point, the MTA Roadrunner standoff is going nowhere fast. Riders of San Francisco's Bay Area Rapid Transit are being treated to some special announcements recorded by local children with autism. According to Axios, the campaign lasts through April in celebration of Autism Acceptance Month and features the voices of autistic kids on the hour, every hour, in 35 BART stations. The messages range from straightforward to gleeful, with one from rider Bella announcing... I love BART because it's fun looking out the windows. Please remember to keep our train clean and offer your seat to someone in need. Have a fantastic day. 
Still ahead, the surprising new fashion statement for teens and tweens. But first, we want to send Mason Galliott of New York City, New York, a special 10th birthday greeting today. Mason, your dad, mom, and Micah are incredibly proud of the young adult you're becoming. You are generous, hardworking, and brilliant. Welcome to Double Digits from your family and all of us on the Kid News team. Now, today's quiz. What is the name of the tree that may get a second life in England? The Sycamore Gap Tree. What is the name of the bridge at the center of a battle over the New York City Marathon? The Verrazano Narrows Bridge. How many college basketball wins did Tara Vanderveer accumulate before retiring this week? One thousand two hundred and sixteen. Why is Consumer Reports asking the USDA to ban Lunchables? The kit's sodium levels may be too high for kids. In today's Kid News Kicker, most kids can't wait to get their braces off, but a mouthful of metal is apparently the new hot thing among some kids and teens. According to the Wall Street Journal, fashion braces, which are non-corrective fake braces purely for show, are gaining popularity among young people with TikTok videos showing followers how to buy and apply them. A New York City orthodontist credits social media with the craze and says it's helped people realize a lot of embarrassing things aren't so embarrassing after all. However, she recommends kids get a dentist or orthodontist to apply and remove them so teeth don't shift by accident. Thanks again to the Galliott family for sponsoring today's quiz. Happy birthday to Mason and a shout out to Mix Brody and the incredible Llama Republic at Grace Church School in New York City. And hellos to our other Kid News classrooms, Mrs. Hannafin's Cavaliers at W.C. Friday Middle School in Dallas, North Carolina, Mr. Garner's Panthers at Dennis School in Springboro, Ohio, and Mrs. Francis's Green Devils at Adams Friendship School in Adams, Wisconsin. Thanks for listening. Please rate, review, subscribe, and share Kid News with all your friends and family. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.